This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. This app keeps track of a user's top 10 favorite songs. The user should be able to add new songs into the list. Add code that will insert a new song into the middle of the list and remove the last song from the end. Ugh, oh, they're being tricky. There should only ever be 10 songs. Don't forget, indexes start at zero. Yep, the twist starts at zero. As you add and remove songs. Okay, read the documentation, insert item and remove item if you need to see how it works, I'm guessing. Yeah, so there's some information here for random access as well. All right. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. I'm going to hit run. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. So if I do eight and write, uh, hello world, that's not a song. Well, it's probably a song. Add new. And nothing happens. Got it. So they're, they're just not going to help us out much. All right. Let me do this. Oh, yep. Add code to get the name of the new song and its position. All right. So that means what do we need first? Well, this is song input. And this ID is update button. All right. So on the event that the update button's clicked, hey, at least they gave us that. What do we want? Well, do we need variable? So let's make a variable. Yep. And we can put it inside the function because nothing else needs to use it. So we can just store it in here. We're going to make the variable new. And then I'm going to say song. Now, what's this going to be equal to? We need to get whatever's here. So we're going to get text. Boom. And what was the ID? Song input. So on the event that update button is clicked, the variable new song will be equal to whatever text is in song input. Great. So now we have their song. Then what do we want to do? Well, add code to insert the song into the list. But we have to do it at the middle, right? So we can't use append. We need to do it at the middle of our list. All right. So insert item. Boom. Now, again, insert item. What are we going to insert? Well, we named it new song. So I'm going to do right here. Oh, wait, first the list. All right, songs is the name of our list. No, it's song list right here. Song list, song list. What index? Well, it has to be the middle index. What would be the middle index in a 10 item list? Okay, well, if we start at zero, we have zero, one, two, three and four. So once we hit four, and that's technically the first five items because we start at zero. So we're going to want it at, does it say it just says middle? Yep. So we're going to insert it at five, we'll say, because that's one of the two middles. So we could say four or five for our index. All right. Um, I'll do five, I guess. And then I'm going to do a, we got to get rid of C. We don't want to use a string. We're going to use new song. Okay. So insert item at index five. You could also do index four. If you right now, mine's going to be the sixth thing in the list. You could do the fifth thing by making that a four. All right. Add code to remove the last item. Uh, that's a bit easier. So remove, remove item. And then what's the list? It's song list. What's the index of the last item? Well, if we always only have 10, it would be 9. However, if I insert something into the list, it would not work. If I put 9 here, it's not going to work. And I can show you. Hey. And I'm a believer's last song. Add. Hey. Notice I'm a believer still there. And that's because it got rid of a song. It did. All right? Watch Stand By Me. Hey. Boom. And that's because it adds hey, and then we tell it to get rid of the thing in index nine. Well, it added one. So the thing at index nine is I'm a, uh, is stand by me, and I'm a believer's at index 10. The best way to do this is what we have been doing. Let's just use the length of the list. So song list dot length. So what do I want to remove? I want to remove the thing at the very end of the list. Oh, I forgot a minus. So I'm going to go into text mode. And the last index in the list is always going to be the song list, the, the length of the list minus one, because length counts everything and indexes start at zero. So length of the list minus one is the last item. And that will be safe no matter what. Let's give it a shot. World, add new song. Boom, stand by me is still there. The other one is gone. Mr. Kaiser is a fancy new song, and I'm going to put it right at nine. 
Oh, except it wanted us to add it at the middle. Okay, well, that's fine. Boom. Maybe they meant middle as in the middle rank. They didn't say that, so we're good, but I'm still going to change it. Let's add it. This is going to be fun. So I'm going to do a variable, and then let me reset that. What's that? Rank drop down. So my variable is just going to be rank, and it's going to be equal to... Uh, these are numbers, right? And I can check in design mode, click, and yep, they're just numbers, which is great because we can use them as get text. Get oh, they don't even give us get number. I want to. I'm gonna just type in get number because I know it exists. I don't think they expect you to do this, but that's fine. Get number rank drop down. Okay, so I'm going to get that number and then where am I going to use it? I'm going to use that rank, that number at here, where? Where we insert, right here, except I need to do rank minus one, right? Because whatever they put, I want to put it minus one for the correct index. Oh, there we go. Yep, make sure you have quotes. Okay, good. Good number. I forgot those. Great. Now let's try this out. All right. I want to put hey at song two, and I'm a believer should go away. Boom. There we go. That's fun. I wish they had given us, they asked us to do this. So this is a bit extra, but it's cool. Ta-da. All right. And we have rank working. We're fancy. Let's keep going.